Hello Windows Universe, Michael with the Windows Club. In this video we will look at what you can do if you receive the 0xc1900101 error. There will be an informative article linked in the description down below that will go far more into depth. And as always, create a system restore point before making any changes to your system. The first thing you probably need to check is to see if there's enough disk space to install the update. The first thing you should probably do is check and see if there is enough disk space to install the update. If not, remove unneeded programs, files, folders, and run the disk cleanup to ensure that you have enough space to install the update. Try running the Windows update a few times. There are times that for no apparent reason it will not run and then suddenly it does. The next thing that you can try is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Go to the Start menu, type in Troubleshoot Settings, go to Additional Troubleshooters, click on the Windows Update Troubleshooter, click on Run the Troubleshooter. The troubleshooter will now run, and if it can detect and fix the problem, it will. After it runs, restart your computer and see if the problem is fixed. Then open the device manager and check for yellow exclamation marks. These are drivers that need attention. Out of date drivers can interfere with a Windows update. Another thing to check is to unplug external hardware. If any of the drivers for these things like external hard drives and gaming accessories are interfering with the Windows update, unplugging them may allow the update to run. Be sure to disable your antivirus and security software. If the antivirus thinks that the update is a virus, it might block it. You can also try running the check disk to repair the hard drive errors. Open a command prompt with administrative privileges and run the following. CHKDSK slash F space C colon hit enter. You may run into the schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts. Click yes, hit enter and then restart your computer and see if this problem fixes it. Did any of these fixes work for you? Let us know in the comments down below. For more articles that will help you maximize the use of your Windows computer, go to the windowsclub.com. If this video helped, give us a thumbs up. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content to make your digital world a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and have a great day.